Hello and welcome back to our series on the Heralds in the Assassin's Creed series. Today, we are in the world of Assassin's Creed Revelations, the 2011 title that brought Ezio to the city of Constantinople. We've already done a few on this game and many more on previous titles in the series that you can watch here. For now, let's take a look at a few talking points in the city in the late game world. Take it away, Harold. The merchant Manuel Paleologos has been found dead. It seems he led a thankfully aborted revolt of Byzantine dissidents. Safavid influence may have also been a factor. Well, 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 it seems as though Manuel Paleologos has met his end. I wonder how. Just kidding. Of course, this is a reference to our slaying of this Templar figure in our playthrough of Assassin's Creed Revelations. The Templar plan for this city was to combine Byzantine dissidents, those who were ousted from power in 1453, and pro-Safavid forces in Anatolia, and overthrow the current regime. We'll talk more about these happenings in just a moment, uh, and I'll let the Herald talk. Good news! The rebel leader Shakulu, ally of the cursed Safavids, has been killed in Anatolia! Ivan rejoices at the news and will now concentrate on stabilizing the region. Shah Kulu, like Manuel, is based on an actual figure in history, and he too was killed by us in our playthrough just a handful of days ago. The real Shakulu led a pro Shia, pro Safavid uprising in Anatolia, a region of modern day Turkey, in 1511, and from the accounts I've read, he could not be described as a merciful person. Either way, the news of his death, both in real life and in our game, was welcome news to the Ottoman loyal, but this wavering allegiance of this portion of the Ottoman Empire would prove to be a problem for years to come. The port has issued a statement wishing our glorious Sultan Bezit the most serene of retirements. Sultan Selim has been invested and now commands the empire. All hail his reign! And the news has finally hit us. Bezid has been forced out of the Sultan ship and replaced by his son Selim, the one that was not named the heir apparent. The conflict between Bezid and Selim has come to an end, but uh, likely not the conflict between Selim and Mahmed. This follows the historical record relatively well, actually. Anyway, while Selim is pretty hardcore and vicious, this is none of our affair, so all hail his reign. Good Prince Suleiman has called for a conference of the Empire's men of medicine in an effort to collect and share the wisdom of all parts for the greater good of the whole. This is the young man we've been working with throughout Assassin's Creed Revelations, and the historical figure who will eventually become Suleiman the Magnificent. I can't locate if he called the men of medicine together like this, but Suleiman has been revered as one of the most influential figures of the 16th century for good reason. From all accounts, he was an intelligent figure who changed the Ottoman Empire for the better, ruling for over 45 years. All that to say, this doesn't seem out of the ordinary, but I can't confirm it. Word the spreading of treachery within the sublime family. Prince Ahmed has been found guilty of consorting with enemies of the empire. His whereabouts are yet to be ascertained. And here we go. The battle between Selim and Ahmed will continue as the latter is labeled as a traitor. Now, in the AC Revelations realm, we know for a fact that this is true, based on our playthrough. Prince Ahmed has worked with Manuel Paleologos and Shakulu throughout the game to give the city and its empire to the Templars. We left off our playthrough hunting down Salim, and so look forward to the conclusion of that in our next episode. For now, we will leave it here. Thank you so much for watching this short dive into some of the announcements that Heralds make in AC Revelations. I publish two videos a week on Assassin's Creed lore and related historical content, so please leave a like and subscribe for more.